Hi, it's me. It's Ann. I'm back. Yes, yes, indeed. Like the hat. Anyway, Anya Stamper, Miss Pink Sweets, here on YouTube, asked me to do a tutorial on the look that I had that I was wearing during tea time the other day. And since this is what I used, and she gifted it to me, I figured I would oblige. We'll talk more in a minute. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back from the intro. As I should have said in the intro, if I did, I don't know, because I don't do the intro until after I get finished. So, you know, there it goes. Anyway, I used the Paulina palette the other day when I was doing my little tea time. And I had done my makeup before I got on to do a little chat. And I've had someone request that I do a tutorial on exactly what I did with that particular look from the Paulina palette. So, being as I like Anya, Miss Pink Sweets, a lot, I thought I would oblige. Face on. Yeah, da 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 da. This one is called. The company is Ruby Kisses. And it's very inexpensive. But I really, really like the consistency. And it's just, it's a pale beige. Now, I won't swear that it's anywhere near close to the um, eye primer that the package mimics, which I believe is the Urban Decay Primer Potion design, but see I've never had Urban Decay Primer Potion so I can't compare them, but I like the way this works. And it was only like three bucks or so off of Amazon yet. And quite often you can get doubles at the same time. So, yeah, that's a favorite. Anyway, moisturized, FP, SPF, all that silliness. Already done. And my little doggies are running around like they're crazed. Well, they sort of are, but I mean, what do you expect? They're my dogs. Let's see. I need my brush. Now, I use, tend to use round crease brushes because with my hooded eyes, I don't have a lot of eye space to work with. Now, when I did this the first time, I started off with Angel down here. So we're going to do that again. And I just started kind of stamping at the outside and then doing little swirlies going in. And I kind of stopped right in here. And then I'd go back and swirl some more. And go up a little bit and swirl some more. Now see, I don't have a lot of space left. between the color 
and the eyebrow and that is because of the hooded eye it's how it works see if I open my eye and relax my eyebrows if I had to put that pink just in the actual natural crease it would be hidden you'd never see it now I do take it down to where the natural crease line is I mean you can see where it folds but then after it folds we've got some loose skin in here that just rolls down over the lower lid over the lower section of that upper lid it covers up the mobile lid a lot if you look at my tea time video you'll be able to tell because if I'm smiling at all, you can't see anything but the lashes. On that lower mobile lid section. Because if I'm smiling, my little pudgy chipmunk cheeks just crawl right up and make my little squinky eyes even squinkier. the edge just a little bit so that it's there are days that I want a harsh line very defined and then there are days where I don't and I go along with that with myself pretty much any time it's like my now I'm picking up Paulina down here Paulina has a little bit of a shimmer to it it's not nearly as much as Thingaling or Salma or Suli it's only got a little bit of shimmer on it but it's much darker of a pink much bolder pink and I'm going to put it in this outer corner and drag it in just a little just a little don't need a lot it goes a long way But what I'm going to end up with is I'll have the pale pink, which is Angel, and then you'll see a flash of this Paulina pink. going in with a different brush yes this one is purple stained yet going into Salma which is this glitter purple over here and I'm going to go right on the corner just a bit right along that edge and then down into the outer corner of the mobile lid I just kind of tap that over into the Paulina just a little bit 
but I want to get that purple on the outer corner here of the mobile lid. Salma is such a pretty color. And I don't want to cover the Paulina up completely with the purple. I want that deep pink to be part of the layering. See, I haven't completely obscured the Paulina. Getting a little fallout there, but it's okay. Not a biggie. take Humble, which is this one right here, and I'm going into the center of that lower lid. No, I am not doing a cut crease. I am really lousy at it. Plus, the hooded eye really makes a cut crease kind of annoying. I am going to let it dry rail up just a bit into the other colors and do a little mix over here with the purple because I'm gonna. Now this is what I did the other day. I took a little flat brush and ran this stuff together and fiddled with it a little space over here on the inside corner because I'm still putting colors on. So no, I'm not done. I'm having one of those let's just try to use everything in the palette kind of moments. Blend that up just a little bit. Now, next I'm going to use Suli. That lovely tealy green glitter. I'm going to have to put this down because I don't want to get any of the spray anywhere near it. Plus, it's hard to do all this fiddling with the palette in hand. And 
up and kind of meet up with the pink and just kind of start dragging it across a bit. Now remember, do not spray the pan with fluid. You'll wreck your, your colors. Do not put a sopping wet brush in the palette. The fluid will run into the pan and wreck your colors. Now, you may not wreck it completely the first time it happens. But you will have to go back and scrape the hard pan off the top of that color to be able to use it again. If you keep getting that color wet, eventually the fluid will sink all the way to the bottom. And you won't be able to scrape the hard pan off because the whole thing will be hard pan. The other thing you don't want to do is leave fluid of any kind all over the ferrule just sitting. Because if you do, that fluid could run right down in the ferrule and loosen your bristles. The last thing you want to do is lose the glue that's holding your bristles into your brush. Because then, you won't have a brush. You'll have a stick and a bunch of loose fur. Alright, maybe it's thread. If you're, if you're using the synthetics, it's thread as opposed to fur. But you know what I mean. From here, I took Figgy, the little doggy. He's so cute. And I ran using that same brush, because it's already got green. And I ran that right up under the lash line. And up this way, just a little, into the purple. And no, I'm not too worried about the little bit of fallout that I've gotten. Because I haven't put my base on yet. I haven't. So, you know, put my foundation and everything on, well, nobody will see anything. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And then, I took this pink pencil off brand, no biggie. Off brand doesn't hold as well as others, but it looks good a little.
just ran that right up along the waterline there. I will end up with a black eyeliner and the mascara. The last thing I did though, when I did this the other day, was I took a little fine point pencil brush. Well, this is not as fine a point as I used the other day, but what the heck. And I rolled it around in that bright green Friends. And it went right here. I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Well, it'll be almost immediate when, for your view. Me? It'll take a minute or two. Catch you in a second. I'm back. I took a page out of Angie's little book. It's like, if you can't get your hair to bay, cover it up. All right, it's not a raspberry beret, but it did come from a second-hand store. What do you think? Anyway, that's the look. I dare you to go second-hand shopping and look for your own hat. Tag me when you get it. Be good. Mm -hmm. 